guys, so my name is Nina Rossiter and I just finished my study abroad in Sydney, Australia at the University of Sydney. Uh, now I'm back in Hong Kong and I just thought that my last video would be really good if I just reflect on my whole experience studying abroad um, since I started in July and now it's December. So yeah, I'll just go over some thoughts. Uh, this was my second study abroad experience. So having, okay, so having come from Hong Kong to Boston, that's technically a study abroad, I guess, uh, having to adjust to living in the U.S., but a re my, this is my second real study abroad experience because my first one was through the end in Greece, and that really did teach me a lot about being independent, but at the same time, I was with 200 other students in a hotel in Greece uh, with language barriers. So in that sense, it was not the same as my study abroad experience in Australia, where I am actually going on my own and not with like the whole anyone gang. My biggest worry was about making friends. I wasn't sure if I'll get along with my flatmates. I wasn't sure if I was going to make friends in school since I was living off campus. In Australia, it's really common to uh, for students to live off campus. Um, Unless you're a, so if you're a local student, then you live at home if you can, and then if you're an international student, a lot of people live in student accommodations, such as Igloo or Urbanesque, where it's just a bunch of different university students living in one student accommodation, so it's not part of the university, but it's catered towards university students, and that's what international students do, and that's, so that's what I did, um, and I was nervous, but it all worked out. I couldn't have gotten along better with my flatmates with traveling around it was so wonderful because um, we had September break which was spring break for us so I don't know the equivalent to the US I guess it's like fall break yeah so I went to Queensland the coast I was in the east coast Queensland drove up no didn't drive up took buses and then I sailed for a week and got my commercial crew sailing license and then that was a really great holiday even though I still had homework while I was traveling so that was not fun. But it was really good because I couch surfed for the first time and I got to meet locals and it just really made me feel very safe in Australia and also get to know Australian culture more and like the identity of Australia. Um, and other holidays were just through the weekends. If I could, um, if I wasn't working as a waitress, then I was traveling around or trying to do something other than doing my work, which I got really, really busy with. And then at the end of the trip, I did a road trip for a week and a half with my flatmates. Australia has such a good road trip culture, so I definitely recommend that if you even go to Australia, just move around because it's such a such a good vibe. Uh, so all around, as you can tell, study abroad was a fantastic experience for me. I'm gonna co-op in Sydney again from January to June next year, so I'm very pumped to go back. Uh, I really hope that everyone gets a chance to study abroad or visit Australia. It'll really show you a whole other world. Thank you.